Welcome back. I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. The Zika virus hits close to home tonight. Five patients have been tested. Two were cleared. But as News Channel 3's Vicki Nguyen reports, all have something in common. They just returned from trips abroad. Five patients in Santa Barbara County were recently tested for the Zika virus. So far, there have been three confirmed cases in California. The infection itself is not serious. 80% of people are asymptomatic. Most people have a mild flu-like illness, maybe with a rash. Two of those cases came back negative. But because the virus can spread birth defects among newborns, the county is concerned. The current recommendation is that any woman who has returned from a country where Zika is spreading by mosquito and is pregnant should be tested for Zika virus. The patients were tested in local labs. Their specimens were sent to the Centers of Disease for Control and Prevention. There's three different ways to test for Zika that we're using right now, blood, amniotic fluid, and urine. Of those, blood is really mainly what we're using right now to test for because that's what's been validated. I would not be surprised if in the near future if we're able to use urine as a screening test for Zika virus, but we're not there yet. The county is prepared for more patients to come forward. As we know more, the recommendations are changing, and so we at Public Health are really trying to keep our providers up to date. We're issuing provider alerts, we're consulting with them over the phone, we're coordinating lab specimens to get sent to the state. So there's a lot that we're doing here internally. Vicki Nguyen, News Channel 3. President Obama sent a request to lawmakers to help combat the spread of the Zika virus. The president is asking for nearly $2 billion to help with the virus in Latin America and in the U.S. He is also asking to redirect some of the leftover funds to fight Ebola. Zika has been linked to devastating birth defects. The debate